The young working girls who joined Inina were defying the norms of the day and risking their livelihoods by joining a nationalist organization. Membership was considered to be a treasonable activity for which they could be discharged immediately. Irish women first became involved in the labor movement in 1911 when 3,000 women at Jacob's factory went on strike for better wages. They won and set up the Irish Women's Workers' Union. In the great lockout of 1913, the entire membership of the Women's Workers' Union stayed out on strike for six months. James Connolly took over the Irish Trade and General Workers' Union and set up the Irish Citizen Army to protect workers against the police brutality. Countess Markovich, already involved in the struggle to overthrow British rule, joined the Irish Citizen Army. And with her flair for military organization and knowledge of firearms, she was given high rank. James Connolly welcomed women into the ranks on equal terms with the men. Connolly was very, he was a good suffragist himself, you know. If a girl could handle a gun, she was given a gun. If a man could cook a meal, he was expected to cook it and not feel in any way degraded by it. Everyone had to do whatever their, cap whatever their capability lay to do that work for Ireland's sake. 